This plane is so popular that we can call this game War Thunderbolt. In this video, does it worth to sacrifice your maneuverability for a useful weapon? Why would you want to use rockets on something that can be killed using machine guns? And of course, why Thunderbolt is one of the most popular planes in ground realistic battles. P-47D-25 is the first Thunderbolt in USA Tech Tree. At the same time, it's the first fighter that is able to carry impressive amount of secondary armament at battle rating 4.3. To fight light vehicles and other planes, it has 8 Browning machine guns. When you need to destroy something heavier, it can drop two 1000 pound bombs, followed by one 500 pound, and in addition to them, it has 10 HVAR rockets. How can a fighter carry such heavy secondary load? Well, no one said fighter must be maneuverable. This vehicle is quite heavy and loses all energy faster than most other fighters. Sure, it can fight bombers or heavier attackers, it has very good primary armament after all. 8 Brownings can deal with any air target quickly. The problem is that in order to use these Brownings, you must position Thunderbolt behind an opponent, which might not be so easy even without secondary armament under your wings. Majority of your air kills in ground realistic battles with this vehicle will not involve turn fighting at all. It is when enemies are too busy attacking ground targets or when they are already engaged in a dogfight with someone else and they don't see you coming. Then you will easily destroy them no matter what belt you are using because when you send over 100 bullets per second, sheer amount of ammunition will wreck any flying thing to pieces. And having 3400 bullets in total allows you to spam shots or engage planes head-on at longer distance. But why you should engage head-on? Well, because once enemy fighter knows about you, there will be little use of your forward-facing machine guns when opponent gets behind you, because your plane is too heavy for turn fights. Enemies will most likely destroy Thunderbolt, and they will certainly destroy Thunderbolt if you take any secondary load. So maybe you shouldn't take any bombs or rockets, because to be destroyed certainly is worse than most likely. Absolutely not. Thunderbolt in Ground Realistic is all about secondary load. It is the reason why in every match with or against USA, you will see sky filled with Thunderbolts. Two biggest 1000 pound bombs under your wings are your most lethal weapon. Easiest and fastest way to kill any tank. At the same time, while you carry them, Thunderbolt feels terrible to control and if there are enemy fighters already in air, carrying something heavy on already not so maneuverable plane is the last thing you need. So the faster you get rid of this heavy burden, the better. These bombs are large enough to damage you with a blast, so put at least 2 seconds bomb activation delay to be safe. At the same time, it is not enough for a ground target to escape blast radius of bombs of such size. The power of explosion is enough to compensate for little inaccuracies, so the first drop of bombs has a good chances to reward you with kill or even two kills if enemies were close to each other. Sometimes Blast even destroys tanks you was not aware of. The only thing that will save tanks from these bombs are buildings and rocks if they can take cover fast enough. After these are dropped, you are left with 500 pounds bomb. It is weaker and only one, so accuracy will matter more in this case but it will be easier to drop it because bomb is located at the center of your aircraft, so it doesn't matter if during launch one of your wings was higher than the other. And Thunderbolt becomes much easier to control after dropping your first bombs. That means you can attack at steeper angle and pull out closer to the ground than before. Nevertheless, bomb is weaker 
so it might take more time planning your attack and unless attacking soft ground targets, it's maximum one kill per bomb. But because you have other ways to deal with soft targets, keep this bomb only for something heavier. Open top vehicles or light tanks can be destroyed using machine guns. The problem is, you will need to attack opponents almost vertically because maximum penetration of Brownings are slightly over 20 mm. Additionally, it might require few attacks to kill someone. Both of these things are difficult to perform as long as you have all these bombs on your aircraft. And nobody wants to use most powerful weapon on something that can be destroyed using machine guns. This is when HVR rockets become useful. Using them will be faster than your machine guns. Considering that there are not many soft targets and you can launch rockets 5 times, there is no point to save them for later. If you can kill someone with them, do it immediately. That will save you some time you could spend looking for other targets. HVRs will do little damage to heavier opponents anyway, so there is no point to save them for later, especially considering that later might never come as fighters will have advantage against you and by the time they start to attack you, you want to get rid of as much secondary armament as possible. I was thinking, should I take rockets if they can kill only soft targets? But they will make the plane slower, because killing someone more protected is very rare while aerodynamics decrease will be felt all the time. But then I realized, even if I save a little bit more maneuverability on this plane, this will not change the outcome if enemy fighter gets on my 6. While at the same time, with a little practice and luck, rockets could be the only relatively safe way to deal with enemy SPAAs. They have good speed, which makes them easier to use at very long ranges. SPAA will not let you get too close for your machine guns to be effective, while rockets fired from distance can cause a hull break even if they exploded close to your target without direct hit. Keeping all this in mind, first Thunderbolt feels amazing when you have to deal with ground units, but all the time you do that, there will be a feeling of rush to destroy as many targets as possible before another fighter saw you. And while in theory plane can be used to boom and zoom, there are not many situations when this tactics can be used in ground realistic as you constantly attack ground targets and quickly lose all energy. If you still have bombs equipped, not dealing with enemy planes alone is probably the best option. When you are attacked, run to your allies, be it SPAA or other planes, and try to survive as long as possible here. Thanks to Thunderbolt's construction, it can soak up quite a lot of damage. In addition to armored glass and armor plate behind a pilot, which are common in most planes, the fuselage as well can sustain a lot of damage. And despite plane becomes even less controllable, it is still controllable and doesn't fall to the ground so quickly. Sometimes, even after serious damages, you can continue fighting. I would rate this plane 8 HVARs out of 10. It has offensive capability to deal with couple of heavy armored ground targets and huge amount of soft targets each flight. But all this time you are hunting, Thunderbolt's weapons will not allow it to properly defend itself and even after dropping all the load, it's harder to take advantage of its speed and high altitude performance when all attention in this game mode is focused on a small area on the ground. But since in ground realistic battles destroying ground targets is the main goal of almost anyone who respawns in a plane, here Thunderbolt will be the top choice even despite its drawbacks. Check the card on top right corner if you are interested in other planes in ground realistic battles or guide video about how to get enough spawn points to unlock planes faster.